And finally this week, New Zealand. Australia's Australia. <laughs> you may recall... You may recall that last year, New Zealand announced it was redesigning its flag for a very simple reason. Australia's flag is in the background here. You can see the Union Jack in the left corner against a blue background with white stars. New Zealand's flag is in the foreground. The only distinguishing feature, the stars are red, not white, with fewer points. Yes, New Zealand's flag is different from the Australian flag in the same way that Ice Ice Baby is different from Under Pressure. <laughs> which is to say that they're basically the same, but one is clearly worse. Now, this, this is not a unique problem. Lots of countries have similar flags, uh, Romania and Chad, uh, or Monaco and Indonesia. But nevertheless, New Zealand has opened a flag design contest to the public and received 10,000 entries, which this week they narrowed to a short list of just 40. And people do not seem particularly inspired. A bit of a joke, to be honest. I think it's turned into a bit of a joke. I yeah. think most people don't care about it anymore. You know, maybe 5% of the people are taking it seriously. The rest of us are more concerned about much more serious issues than the flag. Which one would you pick? Probably that one. Why is that? I guess because it's really similar to the one we've got already. Wow! <laughs> That is negative. You are going about this with the enthusiasm of a distant uncle buying a birthday present for a two-year-old nephew. Look, I just need something that has three colours and takes up physical space. I don't know what it likes! <laughs> and, and I think I know why this has not captured the public imagination there. The 40 flags on the, on, on the shortlist are pretty boring, which is ridiculous, because the government put all the flag designs that they rejected online, and some of them are incredible. For instance, how did this one not make the cut? The title, its actual title, is New Zealand's True Nature, and it looks like a very confused child's depiction of where they think babies come from. <laughs> that would be an incredible flag. Now, many of the other great designs uh, feature the kiwi bird, which ordinarily I would not advise because it looks less like a bird and more like a dumb, fat mouse who got his face stuck on a straw. But. <laughs> It is hard not to get behind this actual flag design of a kiwi blasting lasers from its eyes. You would remember that flag. If you ever saw that flag, it would be impossible not to immediately pledge allegiance to it. But I have to say, the greatest flag design of all, and I cannot believe this did not make the shortlist, was this one titled <laughs> Explosion. And the artist's explanation for his design is because New Zealanders like eggs and explosions are cool. Please, New Zealand, I'm begging you, when it comes time to vote for your new flag, write explosion down, because that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. And now, this. And now, six more actual flag designs submitted to the New Zealand government with descriptions of what they look like. Bird in police floodlight failing field sobriety test. Flag that's just one boot short of a swastika. Unauthorized Hasidic Mr. Potato Head. Kiwi going through heroin withdrawal. A cat having the world's most boring cat dream. And Kiwi dressed as the Fonz for some reason. <laughs> <laughs>